guys. Alright, so we won the last one as we already knew. Um uh, let's see if he made any more progress though. Okay, yeah, so it still looks like uh, the same exact thing. He tried to be my raid twice, didn't happen. Um and yeah, okay. Alright, so this person that we're currently up against, he's got 6 million GP. He's got a Galactic Legend, but it's only gear 11. Um, gear 11, SLKR. Um, how's his mods looking? Speed set, health set, is that? I'm not sure how to mod SLKR, but... Yeah, no 6 style mods, no ultimate, no... Uh, nothing like that. He's got General Skywalker. Uh, crew, he's got pretty much all the first order requirements. He's got Palpatine, he's got Darth Revan, he's got CLS, he's got uh, Jedi and I Luke here as well, actually. Uh, 3PO, which means he's got Teddy Bears, Vader, uh, Malik, Revan, JTR, um, I see Padme too, Fives. Does he have like a shock T or something? Oh wait, gas. Okay, makes sense. Um Oh, there's shock T2 on the right. Uh that's with Sean Fallen, General Grievous, Relic 2 Grievous. See some rebels here and there. Uh Droidica. Scion. Allison. Some gear 12 Geos. Mom Atma, actually. Gear 12 Mara Jade. Gear 12 Ness. This is a lot of gear 12s. Holy crap. It's a lot of gear 12s. Some gear 11s. Omega. Hunter Record Echo. Tech. They're all Zated, so. Seems like a good way to blow GP, to be honest. Uh, which is one of my goals right now. I'm, I'm trying. It's actually my main goal. I'm trying to get my GP to four mil ASAP, uh, so that we can access hard conquest and uh, proving grounds. He's got first order fleet, uh, Hunts, Millennium Falcon, uh, Mombaran and Subrax, so all the Galactic Republic here as well. Geos. Alright, so for capital ships, he's got Chimera, Finalizer, Negotiator, and Malevolence. And Radis here on the bottom. So it's a low gear Radis, but still. Um, I saw this when I saw his uh, roster, so I just didn't change my defense because uh, in my last, in, in the previous round, as you saw, we put the ray on the top uh, to guard the fleet, uh, so I basically put garbage in the fleet. Um, I essentially just didn't change my plan. I I think it's supposed to work out here as well because I'm feel I feel pretty confident that we can break through to the fleet. Uh, that's why I just kept my fleets uh, for offense. Uh, if I just put both of my fleet on defense, he's got four capital ships that can easily like two shot my fleets if necessary, right? So. Uh, and he doesn't have a Galactic Legend. Uh, the only one is SLKR Gear 12. Gear, I mean, Gear 11. Um, so even if you put that on defense, I feel like I can probably figure out a way to deal with him. Uh, so I just uh, brought my ships for offense. And uh, so it looks like he's got Darth Revan here guarding the ship uh, plus Malak. Rolo on the top, uh, Phasma here in the middle. Okay, so on the bottom he's got Gas, JTR, Shock T. Um, I could save my Wampa for Gas. And then these other two teams, I could probably figure something out. Uh, JTR, I could even do a mirror match, maybe. Um, Shock T. Finfin Poe, maybe. 
Uh, but I feel like if I break through their top wall here, um, and then clear their fleet, I'll, I'll be clearing two territories, right? So, uh, one, two territories, two territories, and then he and most will be able to clear two territories plus two more teams. So, uh, if we clear the ships and then... Does that work out? Hold on. How's the banners if I do that? Um... There's four teams in the back that he can clear. So four, three, plus two. And if I clear three on the top, the ships in the back. I feel like it's not quite enough GP, or quite not quite enough banners uh, to get ahead of him. So I feel like we're going to have to clear gas, shock T and JTR on the bottom as well. I have a feeling, which is not very exciting. Um, alternatively, I could try to go after this zone first and see what he's got in the back, clear his back wall as well. Um, and then try to clear the top. Yeah, this is actually not going going to be easy. Um, I feel like the easiest way though to uh, to win is to clear the top, um, and then the shifts, and then the bottom. Uh, but I have to make sure that I, I clear actually do full clear these three zones. Uh, if I clear three zones, like he can only clear two, I think that's a guaranteed win, pretty much. Um, alternatively, I could clear, if I don't, if I couldn't figure out how to deal with the Malik, a Darth Revan plus Malik, uh, then we can potentially, uh, just clear his bottom and then, no, but then we're going to lose. <laughs> no, I think whatever I do, I have to clear the top. Um, so we could just start with that. We could start with this one, actually, the hardest one. Um, I think... So we clear we managed to clear this team i think twice now uh with qui-gon so we'll just stick to that we'll stick to uh just sending in some trash and let them waste their abilities and stuff all right so we need the basti's fear out we need revan's aoe probably the lightning too yeah i think so Okay, let's do that. Um, Revan still has a AOE Lightning, and so does Basti, I think. And look at that, we got 10 banners. Could probably just send in three more, and then they'll use both, both um, the Lightning abilities. Yep, there's one. Oh no. Bastie is coming back though. Her cooldown is resetting. I don't like that. <laughs> um, I think maybe let's just go in now. Three turn cooldown. Two turn cooldown. Uh, so her cooldown is going to be one turn. I don't know if that's good. This might be like a really bad timing hmm because Basti is going to have fear in two turns I don't really like that Is that going to be a problem? I don't know. I don't know if that's going to be a problem, to be honest. And I do want to open with an AoE from Anakin. Uh, just to take off their protection a little bit. Oh, man. This might not be...
it's gonna be very sketchy. Like, very, very sketchy. Let's do it. Haters that. Um, Anakin, Anakin takes up on his turn. Let's do an AoE. Little bit of protection off. Oh no, that's way too early. That's not good. Yeah, that's not good. I can take out Malak though, maybe. And now Anakin doesn't have damage anymore. Well, he's not even going to take a turn anymore. Okay, so DR plus Basti. I think that's clean upable. Yeah, I was not expecting them to kill Qui Gon that fast. Normally they don't. Um, and I was willing to take a, take the risk there because I did I did want to take out their protection um, a little bit before Qui Gon dies because my Anakin is only gear uh, purple gear as you saw. Um, but how do I clean this up? We can come back to it. Hold on, so... This is still nasty, though. Don't want to underestimate this team right here. I really don't want to spend like a fifth and Poe on this though, you know. It just feels too expensive. Um, the Rolo team on the top, that's probably easy to deal with. Pass my will figure out something. Um, if we save Wampa for gas, which we're going to have to. You know what, let, how about let's do Wampa here. Uh, Data Crown, sure. Four percent crit chance. <laughs> oh man, um, special damage, physical damage, physical damage might help actually a little bit. Uh, potency might help a little bit to crit damage. Yeah. I think honestly, I'm going to use my light side data crown here. Because uh, I want to absolutely make sure that uh, this works. And the, by, the best way to do that by far is uh, to use his data crown. Because they got fives and Rex. That's not like I want to make sure that it works. Uh, Relic five. Relic 3, 304 speed. Easter Relic 3, let's see, what about 5s here? A lot of defense set, defense, defense, 3 defense sets. Oh, there's a tenacity set actually. Protection, health, speed. Protection. What was this? Health? I feel like we're probably gonna be fine. They don't have a data crown. Yeah, let's go for it. Come on, give me a turn. One more turn, come on. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Man. Okay, let's do that. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. 
Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Man, that cooldown just wrecked me. Wow. The last gas was so easy too. And this one, we didn't even uh, sit him down and like at all. Wow. I think we lost, guys. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so like when he crits, that's when he uh, increases cooldown, right? And like we never got the bonus protection, so. Hmm. You know, I think I should make my Wampa faster or something. My Wampa is Relic 5. Hmm. Can I take him to like a higher relic? But that was that was crazy. That was that was not fun. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, so like now I don't have a gas counter. I don't think I do. Yeah, I don't think any of these are gonna counter gas, so again. All right, so if I try Fin Fin Po, I, I think by far the highest firepower is Fin Fin Po. Um, of all the teams that I have left. But then, even then, like, I think Gas can just one-shot everyone. Yeah. Can. <laughs> oh god. Hmm. Vader solo. Yeah, I could probably Vader solo this. 266. Um, this doesn't actually do anything. I don't have uh, resistance penetration. I don't. I don't deal special damage. So this is actually literally useless. Um, just save this for like. I think Fin Fin Po, or somebody does special damage there, maybe we can do that. Uh, but then I might just give them this Data Crown, maybe. For chance, plus resistance. Special damage. Plus resistance. Man, do I need a crit avoidance arrow on, on Wampa or something? <laughs> Like, honestly, I think that might actually help, especially against gas. But then if I'm, like, if I'm modding Wampa just for gas, then he's not going to be as good against other counters, so. Alright, let's do Vader solo here. Do that. Um... Honestly, probably want to take a Han Solo first. Because he revives, right? Uh, irresistible, right? This can be evaded or resisted. Okay, cool. Um, maybe just go for Leia here, though. Um, can be evaded. Either way, he's gonna die, um, so, sure. 58 banners.
Okay, so Phasma here, what I want to do. Put JTR Mirror Match on the bottom. Um, oh yeah, I still do have a nest. What am I going to nest? I want to nest something. Hmm. Don't want to nest here, though. Because the Executioner might be a little nasty. But on the bottom here. Uh, is JTR... What does Confuse do again? Let me check. Can't gain buffs. Can't counter. Ooh, that's bad. Okay. Hmm. Nest Shock T. I'm gonna mine Nest Shock T here. Okay, so the question is do I bring anyone else? Do I bring like a Hermit Yoda or something? I feel like I don't have to. Data Crown, uh, does she have a special damage? I feel like she might. That's physical, right? Physical. Physical. They are all physical. Okay. Her meter, don't need that. It's not going to help. Physical crit chance, don't need that. She gains crit chance by default. Uh, resistance penetration. Resistance, I mean, like. Also, she's gonna deal percent damage here, okay. Uh, grants buff to another, okay, so that's gonna, we're gonna use this one here. Um, question is. There's a stun. 26% potency. What does Cody do again? Stun. 41% potency, that's not much. I don't think he's gonna be landing these stuns. Wait, what? Okay, so he gains a lot of turn meter. Which is fine, I'm not, I'm not, like, I'm okay with that, so. Um, I could bring Hermit Yoda if I feel, if I feel like I need a little more tenacity, but I honestly feel like this is probably okay. Yeah, let's go. Let's try it out. After that gas battle, honestly, we can just experiment with whatever. <laughs> Um, stun. Yeah, so they're not stunning me, uh, which is expected. Uh, do I want to get rid of Echo first? It's not really going down. I could go for Shock T. Or can I even? Maybe go for this guy first. He seems like he's dying. Ooh, that guy too. Um, Alright, that's it for him, I think. Okay, looks good. Yep, one more hit on Cody. Cody's getting so much turn meter. <laughs> yeah, 
Okay, that's fine, that's fine. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna go with that. There we go. Is one on one shock tea gonna be a problem? I'm not sure. Let's do this. Okay, cool. Uh, basic. Counter, come on, where's the counter? I need some counters. I'm gonna need the counter shock tea, I think. Okay, there we go. Man, that gas, that gas was nasty. I think I should have done a basic in the end there, but does he counter attack one before he sits down? I was, I was a little afraid of counter attack. Um, I'm not really sure, actually. No protection when Janor Skywalker uses an ability. Reduce your current max health by 20%. Yeah, that's why protection is like so critical on Wampa. And I, he jacked my cooldown like twice. I was so close to getting the, uh, the, uh, the protection. Um, and then it was too late. Alright, so JTR... Could do a JTR mirror match. Okay, 256. Not too fast. 278. Um... Yeah, I think I have to do this. Don't need the turn meter for this battle particularly. Grant a buff to another ally. Okay, that's actually... That'll apply here. It's probably not going to apply anywhere else, so let's use this one. There we go. We're going to wait, outrun them. Uh, don't want to do that yet, do I? Do this to begin with. Yeah, okay, I'm going to do this. Um... She's gonna hand wave. I'm gonna do this actually. Wow, no hand wave. Normally, I put the uh, smoke screen on BB-8, but JTR dispels all the all the debuffs, so there's a chance to at least. So I just put it on JTR. No stun. Put it back here. Do that. Do this. Stun. Resisted. And she actually gains turn meter when I do the hand wave. Or she gained a little bit. Um, sure. gonna do a basic here uh let's do i'm gonna take off that foresight two turns I'm gonna do a basic here here we go but yeah so wampa is like my only counter for gas <laughs> And if that doesn't work out, it's it's pretty much game over. 
Uh, don't like the fears on his team, so... Could try to Fen Fen Po, honestly. Yeah, I'm gonna Fen Fen Po this. Uh, which means we're gonna need the turn meter here. Um, we'll try to figure out what to do with the Phasma. We have a few options, I think. None of them are great anymore, but um, I think we can figure it out. It's not a... It's not a... Ooh. Ooh. Okay. That is not good. Stun. Well, she can't be stunned. Stays in stagger. Ability blocked. That's not good. I think we're I think we're done. <laughs> oh man. Even with the turn meter. And I should be pretty fast too. Like my my resistance here oppose three hundred something. Oh wow, he's three hundred four. Okay, so this guy actually knows how to mod. Uh, but typically, I outrun them by quite a bit. Um, but if they had exactly zero turn meter, I would have gone first. Uh, but it's hard to get them to be at exactly zero turn meter. Hmm. Let's do this first, and then we'll figure out if there's anything we can do to, to the Dark Revan. Two four, two three. How does it tank almost as fast as Phasma? Two three six. Okay. Uh, so Mar Jade is not gonna work here. Two three six, right? Two three two. We're just just a little bit too slow. Uh, so if that's not gonna work, then. Oh my god, did I misplay? I think... <laughs> oh my god, I think I brought Poe Dameron there. I think I brought Poe Dameron instead of... Uh... What did I use? I used Fen. I used Fen, Resistance Hero, Poe. Plus Poe. <laughs> so that wasn't even the right lineup. Oh my god. Hmm. I don't think it would have made a difference though, but still, that's not. That doesn't doesn't normally. It's never happened actually. I know they look similar, but that was the first time I misclicked it. Uh, so now we don't have a lead anymore. Uh, without a lead. I can still do Finn, right? Finn. Ray Scavenger plus. They got a taunt. So, could do a dispel. Do a dispel and then bring a data crown. This is not exactly a team, but it's gonna have to do. Do that. Uh, just gonna do a triple tap. Oh my god, it's not in no damage. JK. Um, that's not good. Need a dispel here. Need another turn. There we go. Wow. Uh, pass it here. Do this. Alright, no lead. I mean, it worked out, so... Just about that. 
No stun, wow. Um, pass it over here. Okay. Okay, so it didn't matter. <laughs> but if you have like Finn, Finn, Poe, and if you have like Poe Dameron and Finn, or, or whatever, like if you have all those characters, don't get them mixed up. They're, it's pretty easy to. Uh, but that's why typically, like, I, I have a loadout for everything pretty much. But sometimes I just randomly click and I think I got it, but apparently there I didn't. <laughs> uh, but. Hmm. Fortunately, I mean, it didn't matter, but, you know, don't do that. If you're trying to win. Like, we're, we're not going to win this one, but, you know. I want to get through this if I could somehow. Bosk? How about... Um, how about Grievous first and see what happens? Grievous is going to get feared, right? So, yeah, I don't... I don't know if that's a necessarily a good idea. Uh, so if I bring Grievous, then let's see, droids. B1. Plus. I don't know who else. I mean, this guy can take four hits. The other dudes are just gonna die. Besides maybe IG, but IG is a bounty hunter, so... Could just bring Dark Trooper as a distraction. Or if I really wanted to, I could just bring... a droid to get a sacrifice right away. Maybe try to kill Basila right off the bat. Maybe just bring B2 then. Yeah, okay. And there we go. Hmm. Can't be evaded. But do I do that or you know what? Go for it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. I kinda thought that was gonna happen though. But we did we did hit Basti once. She got down to, to the yellow, but didn't really do much. Um so if we do boss, I think Basti used her fear, so maybe there's gonna be a slight window of opportunity. Like I, I don't even think it's gonna happen, but um, but I think this is probably the best shot. Although... I wonder if Boba here is better than uh, Grief. I think I'm going to bring Boba, actually. Just so Boba can maybe take some hits. And he's got two lives, so... There we go. He took one hit. Uh, cooldown is all messed up. Oh, God. And there goes Mando. I mean, they got 10 Ferocity stacks. Maybe Bobo... Oh, no, well... Execute would have cleared that, right? That would have been... Uh... It would have done some damage, but she got her full protection now, so... Yeah, so there's actually just no shot now. Uh, just gonna back out. Yeah, so she ended up with full protection. And now I think there's just no teams.
Braun fractured, but then I mean like my team is like gear gear eight, gear seven, gear ten. Still got Geos, but Geos are not going to do anything. Uh, got two more resistance characters left. They're not going to do anything. Although, hold on. Hmm. No, Thrawn's going to die right away, probably. Well, hmm. I think Geos are not. They're just going to die with a single AoE. Alternatively, I'm thinking maybe GBA lead plus. Because that's a pre-taunt. And then we bring two all right DPS. I don't even think they're going to do anything, but. Alternatively, I could try to bring Spy and try to eat Bastila out, maybe. Alright, you know what? Let's do that. He's going first. Uh, there's a Fierce. I should pay more attention to that. Um, well, here, hold on, actually. Lightning? Okay, okay. Oh, man. Weird. Okay, okay. That was close, though. I was close for a second. But even then, I don't think Spy would have done it. How about Pago, Django, plus... There's really no one else. <laughs> IG-88, let's do it. Um, Jingo's got damage immune though, so. Ability blocked, that's not good. Yeah, I wish my Jingo was like Relic 5 or something. That would have been, would have been a little better. And it goes in once, twice, yep. Like, as soon as he loses the damage immune, uh, he's, uh, like paper thin. Hmm. Watt Tempor. Alright, Watt Tempor. Um, let's put that. Where do I put this? Relic 3. Relic 5. He's a little tank here. It's going benefit, to it benefit him a little bit more, I think. There goes him. What does that do? spell it hits a little bit harder and it, it, it still hits like nothing though why hey i'm dead <laughs> okay in hindsight i probably should have uh not used anakin's aoe to, to start with but then i don't know if anakin went quite on sacrifices i don't know if anakin would have been able to one shot at the whole team with full protection you know what i mean so um, yeah, especially when my Anakin's purple gear. Okay. No, actually, yeah. Let's let's uh, try this one more time. Sure. Yep, there goes Thrall. One shot, one shot. Okay. <laughs> He's gonna see that his team held it ten times. Man, this has got to be one of the lowest banner win, uh, or, well, lowest banner battle that I've had in a while. 
237. Yeah, like, even though he only has a gear 11 SLKR, but he still has, like, 6 million GP and all these different teams that are just pretty hard to counter, especially, you know, for my roster. But I feel like... I'm, I'm still kind of curious though. I'm, I'm wondering like if I did a basic there at the beginning. Like when Wampa was about to die, if that would have made a difference, I maybe I could have healed a little bit. Um, and then maybe fives hits me, I counter attack fives and heal a little bit more. Maybe I could have um, gotten my cooldowns back sooner that way and then even then, I don't know. Rex was going to have his execute soon. I don't think I would have killed Fives and Rex in time. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I could try to mod the Wampa as if he was a Galactic Legend. Like, I, I could try to really look for mods, good mods for him. I mean, he pretty much is a Galactic Legend, um, especially in 3v3. I'll look into it. I'll look into it. <laughs> He's got a Wampa too. Um, the Crown Wampa. Yeah, so he's going to pretty much solo all of my teams. He's going to have an SLKR solo, Wampa solo. Actually, I don't know for sure. I don't know what he's got in the back. What if I did full defense? I wonder if that would have made it. No. But then, yeah, if I did full defense, there would have been no way for me to gain any offensive banners because I just don't have teams. Yeah. Six million GP. I didn't even get through ships. That was the plan. <laughs> yeah, that Qui-Gon team, uh, Qui-Gon battle messed it up. Um, but it happens. It is what it is. All right. I'll see you guys in the next G uh, GAC, which is going to be in three days. All right. The beat drops. All right. Peace.